Hi, good day everyone. My name is Dr. Rosemary Inekiri and today I'll be telling you how to improve your vision or oh, let's say ways to maintain a healthy vision. Number one on our list is get your regular eye checkups. Yep. I know you don't want me to tell you to get your regular eye checkups because hmm, many people they don't like going to the hospital or clinics to check their eyes. Yep. But your regular eye checkups can help you maintain a healthy vision because this test that your doctors carry out on your eye can help you detect eye diseases that can make you go blind without you knowing especially glaucoma and another thing is for you to take your doctor's advice mm. yes number two is for you to maintain a healthy diet let me start by telling you that your retina is one of the highly metabolic tissues in your body so it thrives on good nutrients these nutrients that it gets helps it to delay and prevent eye diseases and improves your eye functions so let me get to telling you some of the fruits fruits and vegetables that you can take and what it should be rich in it should be rich in um, between a c e Protein and zeaxanthin, zinc, omega-3 fatty acid for you to help your eyes. Get to vitamin A. Your vitamin A helps you in that low light vision. It helps in your low light vision. It helps you detect light. This vitamin A is mostly converted to retinol. What does it do for the eyes? It prevents dry eyes. It nourishes your cornea. It nourishes your conjunctiva. Which fruits now are rich in vitamin A that can help you? We have your animal carrots, but I should have mentioned your sweet potato first before that. Because do you know what? Sweet potato has double the amount of vitamin A that carrots has. Yes, I told you that. And other fruits you can get your apricot. Can help you with your vitamin A. So let's get to your lutein and zeaxanthin. The lutein and zeaxanthin. Mm, they are carotenoid pigments in the eyes that are found mostly in the macula and it helps with your good sharp vision and it reduces chronic eye diseases and it helps you it helps to be a natural blue light blocker those problems that you get from the screen is a natural blue light blocker for your eyes and it and certain and it helps to prevent um, diabetic retinopathy it helps improve your vision during that so some of the green leafy vegetables that are rich in lutein and certain are kale and spinach vitamin c we have your orange lemon citrus all the citrus fruits lemons tangerine vitamin c is high in aqueous humor and it helps you prevent it helps prevent the radical damage that was the term, radical damage that free radical damage from the unhealthy part of the eyes it helps in macular degeneration and cataract omega-3 fatty acid mm -hmm. omega-3 fatty acid contains dha that helps you in regulating your tail feel it helps you pre um, develop your brain and retina it helps in macular degeneration and diabetic retinopathy some of the foods rich in omega-3 fatty acid are your salmon fish it's mostly your fishes yeah your tuna your walnuts sardines then we have your vitamin e your vitamin e is an antioxidant that helps you keep the integrity of the eye structure and some of the foods that are rich in vitamin e vitamin e is your almonds your avocado sunflower seeds then we have those rich in zinc your zinc converts vitamin a into melanin that helps you to maintain the back of your eyes it helps prevent the oxidative damage and maintains macular integrity and it even helps in macular degeneration of the fruits that can help with your zinc that are good in zinc are your legumes or your legumes like beans lima beans kidney beans stars cereals yeah even cereals yeah. let's get to number three on ways to maintain your healthy vision you want it to be wearing your sunglasses yeah your sunglasses your protective glasses your photochromic glasses your anti-blue light anyone that you've gotten that helps you protect your eyes from uv rays it's such a sad thing that your reviews affect the eyes but you don't have any other option than to protect your eyes for you to clean your lashes and your eyelids 
those your eyelid and your lashes are like a mechanical protection for your eyes that is natural like they are there to protect your eyes so mostly the bacteria are entrapped in it like let's say like your lashes sometimes you call it like is is a vacuum cleaner in your eyes like it just cleans all things and all and so mostly you empty out your vacuum cleaner so it will really help if you can use your cutting rules your face wipes non-fluffy clothes to clean your eyes once in a week like please don't use don't use chemicals mm, thank you don't do that i did not tell you to do that number five is for you to exercise regularly stay hydrated mm -hmm. stay hydrated get enough sleep but they do dilate your blood vessels and they help you get a chill in fact they can even remove dark circles when you get enough sleep those dark circles on there take frequent breaks from your screen yes please don't always stay on your screen for a morning to night. Please take some breaks. Like you can employ the 2020 20, 20, 20 rule. Like after using your system for like 20 minutes, you look something look at something 20 meters away for like 20 seconds. Like just relax your eyes. Relax your eyes. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I have a bonus for you. Yeah. Avoid smoking. Yeah. Smoking can cause you eye problems. If you have if no one has told you before. It's not good to smoke. It can cause you toxic amblyopia and you'll get blind. Mm -hmm. Do eye exercises. Do your eye exercises that helps its eye coordination and eye functions that will help strengthen your muscles. And that is all. Thank you. See you next time. We'll be back.